it's hot. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my hood. I'm standing up and filming, so this is kind of awkward for me. Um, this is another video of my favorite time of the month. Yep, not, not period video or, I mean, why am I so awkward? Anyways, it's an unboxing video of the Witch's Moon box, of course, my favorite time of the month. And this is the, what month are we in? May? This is the May box. So, I'm just gonna, I don't, I don't know what's in this box as usual. We're just gonna open it up. Okay. Ooh, purple, my favorite color. Alright, so, we got, um, an oracle reading. And it says, opportunity. When your eyes are open wide, opportunities will never opportunities you never thought possible will manifest that's what that looks like and then we have um we have our of course our beautiful artwork that we always get <gasps> there's two oh my gosh they have two <laughs> let's open the envelope the, the parchment paper to see what's on it what this is about Okay. So this year, this year, this month box is the Elemental Spirits. And we're going to use, let's see. I want the artwork. Where's the artwork? Okay, this Oracle reading. Um, we already know about the or Oracle reading. Um, let's do... The Elemental Books of Shadows work. So that is this one. And it says, um, This beautiful book of shadows artwork was created by Adrienne. Okay, well, it doesn't tell us anything about it. But this is it. It has some elemental spirits on it, like gnomes and salamanders and um, things like that. And they're really pretty. And then we also have another one. It's called Midsummer, and it's we're it's in, we're in Texas and it's still hot. But anyways, of course, because Texas gets hot. It says um, this beautiful book of artwork was created by Adrienne, the person who always makes them, and exclusively for the Witch's Moon Box. It is said that the veil that separates us from the fairy realm is. Then during this eve of midsummer, take this opportunity to become intimate with the powerful, more wise spirits that have come before and outside of us. So that is this one, and it says elements are fire and water. And I just want to point something out. You see that upside down triangle for water? Yeah, that's on my. Oh, it's on my ankle. I think you've guys, you guys seen it before, but I have it tattooed on my ankle. Because I feel more, I feel more connected to water. And if I'm like, <sighs> it's just really hot and I don't feel good, okay. But this is like the happiest part of my month, or the is this box. All right, so we're gonna open it up. It's purple, and purple is my favorite color. As you guys know, everything is purple. Um, we're opening it up, and we're gonna take the bubble wrap off. And, hmm, I don't smell anything yet, but let's start with the herbs that we have. So we got some fairy call herb, which is really freaking pretty. Look at that. Fairy call herb, and we have, I don't know what this is, but that's also pretty, and we're going to read them. Um, let's see. Okay, so... This herb, the fairy call herb, it says, it says, we have mixed the ritual fairy call herb blend in the herbs of elderflower, lavender, chamomile, blue cornflower, and rosebuds. We have charged this blend with the energies of beauty, strength, and growth. Place this mixture in a satin pouch to be carried with you. Allow this beautiful blend to support you and draw forth loving opportunistic energy of the fairy. That's really freaking pretty. I love that. Now this one is called ga Gaxel Herb or Hawthorn. Oh, 
I could have just said that. Hawthor Hawthorne is um, the part of the tree fairy triad from Britain, being that the oak, ash, and thorn in the stories that has been passed down, the Hawthorne was believed to be witches who have transformed themselves into trees. Many rituals have been performed dancing underneath the thorn. Scatter the herb around your offerings and altars to attract enhanced energy of those elemental spirits. That's really interesting. That's really cool, actually. Everything they send me is cool because I love them. Okay, this is tea. It's really pretty, too. And then we got a tea bag. And let's read the tea. <laughs> let's read the tea. Okay, anyways. This is what it looks like. And it says... There is a long history of the Seely Fae stepped into the Irish and Scottish folklore. Seely translates to happy, lucky, or blessed. Many have said that this the word silly comes from this word as well. Unlike the counterpart Unseely, un who have darkly, darkly inclined spirits, the spirits, um, the Seely are but are but the light workers that played in this parallel dimension. We have placed this tea within the collection to help you determine the Sealy energies within you and around you, including those that may come that you may come into contact with. As you sip this tea and open your mind what may be around you, the beautiful blend was created for you with the Chinese Sincha as its base, a green tea with splendor leaves that produce a yellow cup and naturally sweet flavor and the sencha is accompanied by pineapple pieces and colorful cornflower petals that's really nice that's cool all right now we're getting to the to the deep nitty-gritty stuff so we're opening and we have this beautiful purple i love this i'm so glad it's purple this time that means this is my box we're gonna go ahead and go for this big thing right here I don't know what it is. It feels like a book or something. What is this? It's a box. A box of what? What is this? <gasps> Whoa! What? 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 Is this a jewelry box or something? No, it's not a jewelry box. It's just a box. I don't know what it's used for, but it has this, this pretty, like, a fairy, I guess she is. It's so pretty. We're going to read it. Where, what is this? It's a, it's a box. Oh, it's an enchanted maiden spirit box. It says, we have included a beautiful, finely crafted enchanted maiden spirit box to enhance your connection with the elemental spirits. We have used this very box for many years and are, and are so thrilled to be able to share it with you. As soon as... I mean, as you cleanse and charge your box with energy, envision the portal opening to receive messages and guidance on your creative path. As you place items in this box, practice the same ritual of settings of your intention and purpose. Among other uses, we have used the spirit box to send messages and ask so that you are able to receive positive no notions in response. These responses will come through signs and psychochronic something. I don't know the word. Um, elemental spirits are known as us for being playful, fun, and extremely intuitive. Allow this box to assist you in opening your heart and mind to enjoy the true creative possibilities that this connection can bring you. Depending on the elemental spirits of fairy you wish to attract and connect with you, we recommend including essential oils, stones, and herbs associated with the element. That is a really pretty box. Okay, we have next... Oh, okay, so I'm still opening, obviously. Next, we have this blue box, and I think a stone or jewelry is in this. Yes, a stone, rose quartz. It's really beautiful. And we're going to read this. It says, this over here. It says, rose quartz calling stone. 
as we work to attract light, Faye, we have chosen to include a rose quartz fairy calling stone, most commonly using as a worry stone. This stone is meant to be rubbed with your thumb to release unwanted energy and purely charge your aura. We have used the stone for different purposes as you work through rituals and meditations. Rub your thumb through the rose quartz groove to increase the loving energies to attract friendships, inner healing, and peace. To call upon fa fairy, one must be sincere and committed. These energies are surrounded uh, at, surrounds us at all times and will only present themselves if they are aware and respectful to your existence. As a calling stone, use rose quartz, rose quartz to bring about energy's growth through pure love and attention. Well, we're going through a rough time right now, and I would like to rub this. Because... Whew, because I just need it. And... Yeah, I'm glad they gave this to me. Uh, this is a little groove. I don't know if y'all can see. There's a little groove right here where you rub your thumb at. Okay, next we have something in this pouch. It's a crystal because they always put nice things in these beautiful satin pouches. Ooh, whoa. What is this? Can you guys see? Let me get y'all in the sun so y'all can see this real quick. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? This is beautiful. Wow. This is very beautiful. Look at that. That's, that's freaking amazing. It's getting dark over here, so let me... <laughs> Let there be light. Um, but that is beautiful. Let's see what this is. Um, let's see. It's called Peacock or Ore Ore because it has the colors of the peacock. It's so pretty. It says this beautiful stone has been taken many moons to finally be received by you. In this collection, this stone is truly a stone from the fairy realm, known as the stone of happiness and joy. Peacock or has holds the unique power of encouraging and understanding that there's nothing wrong in any aspect of your life. Anything purposefully is for good. Also used to align all chakras, peacock aura has been used to increase the adrenaline pulsing through the spiritual and physical body. Use the so stone to assist you in allowing yourself to become content, content and filled with joy in the... Oh, I thought something was moving. Content joy in the present moment. Realize that life is truly an enjoyable experience. Experience, and it comes with the affirmation. And the affirmation says, "I allow myself to enjoy the here and now, knowing that this beautiful experience is the natural essence of life." This is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. Like, can you get you this box? This box is always great. It's always great. Now, next we have some, we got more sage. It's white, I think it's white, yeah, it's white sage, but it's mixed with something. Let's see. Um, Okay, it's called Blue Magic and White Sage Bundle. So this mother-bearing sage has been used by the natives to cast protection, invite soothing positive energy, and bring about a calm collective state. Blue Magic, also known as Lavender, has been including in the bundle to assist the, proce the processing spiritual energy in a more slow, consistent manner. As we work with high vibration elementals, allow the smoke from this bundle to cast away deviant energies and calm your psyche. Good, because I needed this. I've been burning sage like crazy here because I've been stressed, highly stressed. But next we have, we have 
Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look it. We have this. And this is, and it smells good. Let me see. This is a fairy offering bundle. And it says, we have included a spring bundle of dried herbs for you to offer to the elemental spirits. In your practice, we truly offer, we truly keep offerings at the front forefront for asking assistance and guidance for any spiritual energy. This sprig can be placed on your altar in your garden or any meaningful placing area in your home as you offer these beautiful sprigs back to your spirits of nature. Nature, we are taking the first step in creating a lasting bond. To maintain interaction, we strive to attract only positive spirits, making it a priority to play uplifting, beautiful music and to enhance energy as we speak to develop. Fey folk are very privy to enchanted music and also energy. They also enjoy beautiful literature and art. Use the energies of fairy to cap catapult the creative process in sight. This is really beautiful. I'm actually going to put this on the windowsill. Please come, fairies. Okay. Next, we have our oil. We always get an oil. Let's see how beautiful this one looks. Oh, it's blue. I have more oils. They're up there. That area. From them. It. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh, this doesn't have any herbs in it. This only has crystals. That's that's new. They usually put herbs in their oils. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This smells beautiful. Hold up. Let's let's just Oh, oh this is my favorite. This this is my favorite one they've ever sent me. This, it's called the Fae. Oh, oh my gosh, that smells beautiful. Let me read this, okay, because this smells good. It says, the Fae Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the in intention of inviting the free and fun energy of Fae. The scents have been proven to attract these elements to, surround, to our surroundings. We have recommend anointing your skin, candles, or jewelry with this oil so that you may become more in tune with the fairy spirits around you. We have enchanted this magical oil with rose, um, gar garunum? Garunum? I don't know. Jasmine, almond, um, uh, lang lang, and essential oils, as well as a special brew of our enchanted oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Inside your oil, you will be, you will find a lumerian quartz to personify oneness of your aura, peridot to bring forth earth, and to bring forth earth, mother of pearl to bring forth water, and corneal to bring the fire, and blue, blue solidate to bring forth air. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Okay, next we have our... Ooh, this almost fell. We have our bath salts. And this has a mermaid on it. Let's smell these. Mmm, everything in this box just smells beautiful. It's... I wish you guys could smell it. Here, just, just take a whiff. Try that. Mm hmm Yeah, it smells great, doesn't it? It's it smells good now here, try this, cause this made me Ugh, this will make your eyeballs roll in the back of your head. Smell that. Yeah, it smells good, huh? I know. Beautiful. Alright, now the bath salts. Hmm. Okay, it 
it says, as you sink into your beautiful aromas of the sacred salt, visualize a warm blue light consuming your aura and expanding around you. Relax and let go of your preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. Also, I mean, as you clear your mind and visualize the warm blue aura, imagine yourself charging your international mag international internal magnet and repositioning your compass you slowly become one with the energies of the natural components accompanying the sacred salt we may i mean we have created this blend with the purpose of paying homage to the water elemental spirit or undane undane i think that's how you say it as you play enchanted music while you soak in this mixture, use the undane's wisdom to fill you, charging your psychic and intuitional, intuitional, mm. um, in our sight. We have enhanced the sacred salt with jasmine and gardenia essential oils, as well as buds of jasmine and the herb hawthorn. We also included a special mixture of water magical oil from our personal cabin of witchery. It smells divine. Divine. It smells divine. Okay, what else do we have in here? Okay, we're almost done. We have our... Let's do the incense first. What kind of incense are these? Because they smell good. Mmm. Hmm. We got some incense, of course, because they always give us some. And this is... Moonlight on the Grove. Groove. Grove. This, the scent of the moonlight on the grove brings about a sweet, refined, and gentle fragrance. Imagine. Not imagine. I can't read. English. Okay. Enjoy this beautiful fragrance while working in, working to nurture the heart's fortune. This graceful energy is made to open your surroundings of self, uh, and self to look and power in synchronous I don't know that word so we're just gonna skip it okay and the last thing we have is our ritual candle of course please be purple please be purple if it's blue that works too because I like blue but please be purple it's purple wow hold up y'all just look at this beauty. Can you see this beauty? It says, we have included a... Oh, wrong thing. It says, we have handcrafted this spell candle with the purpose of bringing forth the beautiful energies of openness and creativity. The dancing nymphs are a pure representation of the true nature of our spirit. We call upon the energy to help us on it to help us honest with ourselves that doesn't make sense and free the negative thought and outside rules we do not establish limits for the opportunities that may present themselves we are the we are to receive the blessings and pay forward blessings to others as we light this candle we call upon the strength that fairies can bring out into our lives this candle has been enchanted with primrose rose and gardenia essential oils we also have been we also have included a special mixture of fairy potential oil from our personal cabinet of witchery the bud of lavender has also been included in this enhancing candle this candle is accompanied by a spell from our book of shadows that has recommended to, to recite three to seven times while burning your candle and i'm just going to take the um I'm going to take this off and I'm going to read the incantation. I can take it off. Any day now, Nia. Any day now. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it is called Dance of the Fairy Nymph. 
It says, On this night, O night of mine, nymphs shall dance as the moon so shines. Open thy mind, so shall the heart. Judgment is past, intuition now starts. I welcome the pure, I cast out the old bad. As the fae come to dance, celebrating magic, they add. Elementals, I ask, bring unseen to be seen. This realm and yours I am now placed in between. I now loosen my skull, soul, that's a W, skull, hmm. and take in our only pure. These thoughts add intent no longer based on old fears. On this night, O oh night of mine, nymphs shall dance as the moon so shines, so mote it be. So this is what it, this is why I had trouble reading it a little bit because the print is different, but that's fine. It's nice, like everything in this box. I love this box. Can you, can you guys see the, the beautifulness? Are you peeping the beautifulness? It's really beautiful. Okay, this video is long enough. Thank you guys for, um, watching me again. I mean... This was the May box of the Witch's Moon box, and I hope you guys enjoy it because I love these boxes. This is my favorite box subscription ever, so I hope you, hope you guys enjoy it.